G'day everybody and welcome again to our What The Wednesday. And before I get into uh, what we're going to talk about today, I'd just like to mention um, a webinar that we've got coming up with many of us going into our, our weaning phase and, and the likes and um, an area where we, we really need to concentrate on those young sheep. Um, we've, we've got a webinar coming up around managing livestock for productivity over summer and so that, that, that'll be a good one to get on and have a, have a look at. It's, it's for the cattle industry as well, it's not just about sheep but certainly um, you know the, the phase that we're going into it, it, it'll be a, a good one to jump on and, and uh, have a look at. Um, but the thing I'd like to talk about today is uh, mastitis and uh, particularly for those of us that are, that are going into our, our weaning, weaning phase. And uh, uh, mastitis is one of those ones where we can see, you know, significant variation between years and between flocks. Um, but in general, uh, the British breeds and the maternals are, the, are worse, but certainly um, it, it can affect our, our merino flocks. And uh, if we're not diligent, you know, in the shepherding of these, these ewes, um, after weaning, you know, particularly that first week after weaning, uh, we can see um, significant losses uh, due to, to mastitis. And um, some of the influences, uh, nu nutrition is, is certainly one that can have an influence on um, mastitis um, and certainly can be an issue this year with, you know, for many of us, we and thank goodness, but um, we're enjoying you know, an abundance of feed um, going into this weaning phase, but uh, that can be a bit detrimental to to these to these ewes because um, you know one day they got lambs, twin lambs, and maybe triplets even that uh, on these ewes, and then we wean the next day they got they got nothing. So um, good nutrition, uh, high milk production, um, so so that can. Um, contribute to, to mastitis through uh, any sort of trauma um, or infection exposes the, the ewe to mastitis and it, and it can be just, you know, um, long grass or any sort of damage or trauma to, the, to, the, uh, to those big swollen udders once these lambs are taken off them um, can certainly uh, expose to a, even a secondary uh, infection. And, and there are things that we can, we can look for um, in these ewes after weaning, um, and I know often we, we focus on, on the young lambs, but um, at that point in time they, they require a lot of, lot of our time and our effort, but we don't want to forget these ewes, because, you know, as, as most of us have seen, um, you know, these ewes are in excess of $300 nowadays, that's what they're worth to us, so, um, yeah, we don't want to be uh, losing too many of them due to just simple neglect and and um, because those lambs are taking so much of our time and uh, it is going to require uh, really good shepherding to actually pick up these the key is to pick up this mastitis in the early stages and some of the the um, clinical uh, signs is the size of the udder and teats um, it could be the temperature the core temperature or, or, or the the, te or the udder um, the consistency of the udder it could be it can be quite hard um, is another way we can pick it up. The milk is uh, often clotted, watery or even bloody. Um, and they'll often uh, be lame in the, in the hind leg. And also their appetite, they'll, they'll, it is quite a uh, painful thing. So they'll often just, just go off um, their food and, and they won't want to eat. And, but uh, it's certainly critical to, to get onto it early. Um, to, to really check these ewes every day uh, for that first week, particularly uh, after weaning, and, and, and uh, we can, we can you know, it gives us the best chance to pick up any of those ewes that, that may have that infection. And so, uh, if it's if it's picked up early, uh, the local vets, you know, they can help us with the, the treatment through early detection. And uh, there is a couple of option, options there. The um, oxytetracycline or penicillin. I think there is some known resistance to the penicillin, but there, you know, there is some options there if, if um, th we're able to detect these things early. And, um, but it, with th late detection, uh, probably the best practice is to cull these ewes from the flock. So, um, and that's really, at this point in time, the last thing we want to be doing. So um, if we're just diligent in, in that shepherding process after weaning, um, we can avoid 
uh, some of these losses through mastitis. So um, I wish you all with, well with the, with the weaning process and uh, hopefully uh, this helps just to uh, help uh, pick up early detection of, of this mastitis and, and treat it. And uh, that's less use that we've got a coal, which amounts to higher production at the end of the day. So thank you very much and look forward to seeing you again next week.